Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Bring it! I think we're ready. And now... And now, the most offensive radio talk show host on the planet, Eat San Tilly. Who does not, specifically does not wear a suit and tie, because when you wear a suit and tie, you have to lie to people. Okay? My name is not uh, Anderson Pooper, Jake Crapper, or Wolf Schitzer. None of those things. And I don't sell you diabetes medication because a big pharma would contaminate this show. Uh, this is not Friday, April 5th, uh, <laughs> 2019. It's just not. Uh, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to fix that right now. And at the same time, I'm going to say hello to my lovely co-host. And we'll just do our switching right now if we could so I, so I could fix and go back. Uh, good morning on this uh, Monday, actually, April 8th, 2019. Monday, April 8th, 2019. This is episode number, what is it, Deb Jordan? Episode 1508. number? 1508. 1508. 9 a.m. broadcast. Good morning, Pete Santilli. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, uh, all of you lovely, lovely deplorables. Yes, good yeah, morning. It's good to be here. I just on this uh, Monday morning. I want you to know that uh, as we lead up to the 2020 election, okay, mm -hmm. as of right now, first of all, remember that the election meddling by the Northern California uh, metrosexual freaking Marxists uh -huh. who can't even have like one conservative <laughs> person on a panel for AI stuff. Right. They just absolutely just the crazy crats up there. Mm -hmm. They just go absolutely crazy. Um. These people have done some hardcore election meddling. Okay. Yeah. They have. Yeah, they uh, have. The same people are in charge. Hold on a second. Let me turn that off. The same people are in charge of the internet right now. And they are literally, this is what they're doing. If you're on our YouTube channels, they're unsubscribing you. We have in the hundreds, just consistently. Okay. We have people to come on the channel. But it just seems that for the first time since I had my YouTube channel fired up, I think in 2006, mm -hmm. now we're in the negative. We're going backwards right now. Why? Yeah. Because some of our most loyal uh, people are being unsubscribed and the alert buttons are removed and all of that stuff because all they want you to do is if you go to, uh, for instance, if you go to the trending section of, uh, of YouTube, and I, I should show that to you, the trending section of YouTube. I'm going to go to that right now, as a matter of fact. Let me, let me show, show you this right here. If you go to trending, Mark Dice, by the way, he publishes, I believe, you know what? That's my uh, designated news source. I want Mark Dice. I go to him first. I go to Mark Dice. I go to Alex Jones. Those are my designated chosen uh, news sources. Mark Dice publishes something. An hour later, he has 45,000 clicks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Several hours later, 250,000 clicks. But no, you can't have that because, you know, that's not, uh, that's not going along with the, the cabal, of course. The cabal wants you to know what's trending. Let me show you what's trending here on news. You click, you go to YouTube news. 598 views right now for CBS this morning. Kirsten Nielsen resignation is part of a massive. Now, do you call that trending, ladies and gentlemen? Or do you call that some freaking multi-gender freaking Marxist saying, let's put this up on trending and say, and we're going to say what's trending. Not mm -hmm. what the freaking people want. Right. I want Mark Dice news. I want Alex Jones news. I want wherever the frick I want to get my news. And then guess what? You count. Where we go, and then you say, "Wow, that's trending," right? And then let you the post that up there. Let the, huh? let the, let the numbers. Decide, There's no right? algorithm. There's a freaking multi-gender algorithm. <laughs> There's a freaking skinny jeans wearing metrosexual. And you know what? 
I don't even have uh, I don't even have those freaking metrosexuals here. Hold on a second. Let me uh, publish there. Did you publish up uh, by the way on uh, on Facebook Live? I did. Okay, do me a favor. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to uh, Facebook Live, and we're going to do a little trickaroo. You see, because you got Mark Tricom freaking sucker suck. <laughs> oh okay. My goodness, you are Mark Sucker Suck. You're on a you're on a rant this morning. He says, "Oh, we need to delete. We need to use the excuse, Mister Senator, that we're having. We're trying to do better, but we have technical difficulties. Now we have not cross shared, but we're going to cross share right now. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cross share because you know what? We build up a page. We literally build up our business. Mm -hmm. Blood, sweat, and tears. People will come to us and have come to us." In the freaking millions. In the yeah, millions. Yeah. But Mark Zuckerberg says, that doesn't go along with our agenda. <laughs> that doesn't, Mr. Senator, we're trying to do best. Yeah. So you know what? I think I have, oh, a, I think I have a freaking, a little technical squirt up my freaking keys there. And I'm going to have to shut Pete Santilli down because he's a Russian bot. You're a freaking chai -com. Did you just say a, a technical squirt? Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Oh yeah. Now let's go ahead and see if we can Oh listen to that. Listen to that. There we are. Now we gotta go into there? Facebook and we gotta trick it. You see, we have to trick our way around these freaking communists. You like we did the Viet Cong. You know what? We put a bowl of rice out so you come out and get it so we can freaking shoot your ass. <laughs> my goodness. That's what we did to the Viet Cong. Here, look at here's a bowl of rice. Come out, come get it. Huh? Wow, wait till you come out to clear it and go, right? Mm. It's the only way to get them. Freaking little freaking little brown effing machines powered mainly by rice. Mm. LBFM PMBRs. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? This is who these people are. Okay. Listen, you're going to get the first ever. I hope ever, everybody was ready for this this morning. You're going to get the first ever crazy crat update. Okay. Because I've basically just succumbed to it. When you actually go and you listen to what these people are saying, like, mm -hmm. remember how we used to go to, let's go over to CNN and see what they're saying to those people. And you'd go over there and you'd be like, hmm, they're saying that. That's an interesting angle. Uh, we may want to counter that with the, you know, maybe the conservative approach. Their analysis is a little bit different. Now you go over to CNN. These people are literally bat shit crazy. Bat, I mean, insane. Insane. If you go over to CNN and you listen to what, not just the, I actually don't think they're saying anything to anybody anymore. Mm. Like Mark Dice says stuff and he puts up a video. Six hours later, he's got 250,000 freaking people that watch that. These guys put their stuff up. Tucker Carlson is literally beating all of CNN combined. Just that one show alone. Tucker Carlson, we want to hear from. We want to hear from. This is where the people are going to get their news. You go over to CNN, nobody's watching CNN anymore. So therefore, they're talking to themselves. They're literally starting to believe their own bull crap. Mm -hmm. How do we stop this thing? You know what we need to do? We need to identify. I mean, we have to do just a constant crazy crowd update. Today will be the first ever we're going to just put them on display. You're going to hear people from MSNBC, the Young Turks. You're going to hear from CNN. And you're going to listen to how crazy these people are. I don't even think they should have driver's licenses. I think we need background checks for, like, people to leave their house. <laughs> we need a background. No, seriously. Like, I hear They you. say, oh, we, we need to determine your mental stability. You know, let's do red flag laws against libtards leaving home just <laughs> like stay on twitter and talk to yourselves okay mm. don't you think we need to like for mental reasons we should be able to just lock everybody in their houses well, if you're a libtard I, I know where you're going and i know what you mean but but don't there's no yeah but that's what well, i said that's what i freaking mean well, I know, there's no i don't I do know. yeah buts if you have a yeah but go ahead and feel free to interject but these want... people need to be locked in their houses, okay? Yeah, They're... but you can't, you, we can't go about 
taking other people's rights away from them oh, to be oh, crazy. Communists should just have rights to just run around in our camp and blow it up. Oh, well, okay. we have the right to counteract it. They're suicide bombing our constitutional well, I guess republic. we don't have the right to counteract it. We don't. Um, you see, because because then you get the multi genders. Okay, the, you know, I say multi genders uh-huh. because they don't know what freaking gender they are. They like need like seven of them. They don't know <laughs> what they are today. It depends on if their medication yeah. kicked in, uh-huh. all that good stuff. They want to join a military. You know, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Freaking Vera de Milo wants to go fight in the freaking Iraq war. That's hilarious. Ben Time Traveler, it works. Let me do some cross posting here. Oh, gee, I wonder if we'll actually be able to send out messaging to to all of our people. Huh? Let's go on Facebook and send out messaging to people. God forbid if we were to actually send out people that we actually said, hey, would you like to watch our show? They said, sure, we'll click that. And then all those people, a couple days later, like, I'm not getting any notifications anymore. You know why? It's not our fault. It's because you got a freaking uh, freaking multi-gender Mark Zucker plock, Chicom, son of a bitch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at We had 37. I cross-posted. Now we have 36. Well, can I say something? You can say anything you want. I have free speech here. You're looking very origin today. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) <laughs> we need to find out the oranges. <laughs> your your President Trump would have a hard time describing what you look like today, but very origin. <laughs> oh, now we got thirty seven on Facebook. Remember when we first opened up, oh we had clean goodness. accounts. We went in there. We had hundreds. We reached thousands of people in that first broadcast. They say, oh, we can't have that, Mr. Senator. We, can, we need to do better. And, oh, technically, we got problems. And then they freaking <laughs> cut all of you freaking deplorable scumbag. Freaking, they have such disdain for you. Okay? This is what they want you, for you right here. They want you to go over here on trending Here's trending news over here. American wood, woman kidnapped in Uganda safari returning home. 450 freaking views is what they call trending. Mm-hmm. That's some freaking metrosexual telling you that you need to go to this trending stuff mm-hmm. over here. You know, Netanyahu close election on Tuesday in Israel. VOA news, 368 freaking views. Okay. You want to see? You want to see what's trending, ladies and gentlemen? Watch what's trending. Don't go by us because we're literally wrapped up like a freaking, this is like Egypt live. You just found a freaking mummy. <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. Freaking toot on Pete Common. Yeah. Huh? That was pretty cool. Didn't you like that? Pete Tut. <laughs> wrapped up like a freaking mummy. Pete Tut. You think I'm going to keep my mouth shut just because they want to shut us down and give us, you have, you can't speak to your 250,000 people because we deleted your page, you're a Russian bot, kind of. I don't know. If if you have, if you have a dispute about this, click this button and appeal it and you never hear back from them for never. like six months. Why? Because they're too busy wrapping their freaking multi-gender junk to the back of their ass. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. We're too busy. We're too busy setting up your trending news. Uh-huh. Here's your trending news, ladies and gentlemen. Here, you want to see what's trending? Look at, see, 406, 368 views on Netanyahu on VOA News. Look at this. Bloomberg politics, trending news. You tell me if these freaking chai comms in Northern California are serving up trending news. Mm. This is 136 views in two hours. You want to see what's trending? Here, let me show you what's trending. Yeah. Okay? Uh-huh. Let's, Let's see, see it. Let's see Mark Dice. <laughs> Let's go to Mark Dice. We'll go to Mark oh Dice's channel. I'm, I'm not joking. Watch this. I know you're not. MSNBC makes a big mistake. There they are, mm-hmm. making a big mistake. Oh, published on April 8th about, I don't know, about 45 minutes ago. You ready? Mm-hmm. 51,000 views. Okay? Who's trending, ladies and gentlemen? You know what? I know who I am. I eat steak. I'm a freaking man. And I guess what? I roll one way. One way. 
That's right. And I'm going to tell you what's trending. Mm -hmm. And I'm much more credible. And I don't even wear a suit and tie. And I don't sell you freaking Viagra. There you go. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know what's trending? This is Pete's trending news right here. Pete's trending news says that MSNBC has made a big mistake. 51,779 views from one hour ago. Sorry. It was one hour ago. Mm. Huh? 1,300 comments. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 10 hours ago. He posted this. He pinned this up 10 hours ago. It was actually posted one hour ago. One hour ago, it was posted up, but he pinned up his comment uh, uh, 10 hours ago. All right, here. Let's go to Mark Dice's channel and find out what everybody wants. This is what everybody wants, and you're getting it from a guy that doesn't have a suit and tie, and I yell and scream, and I say, frickin', okay? You say frickin' a lot. And I call... Zuckerberg, all right, mm -hmm. something that he should be called. Look at one hour ago. See this? NBC makes a big mistake. One hour ago, 50,000 views. One day ago, the fun continues. 215,000 views. Now let's go to the freaking metrosexuals that have no idea what gender they are. And let's find out what they think is trending. Oh, <laughs> CBS this morning. 450 views. Oh, okay? my goodness. Make sure you buy your freaking diabetes medication from Big Pharma, everybody. Mm -hmm. You know? Here. Are they going to show a commercial? Huh? A diabetes commercial. And they're going to have people with suits and ties on, too. They're going to be really, really... Look at 480 freaking views. Look at this. 480 views. And I'm not going to uh, do that right there. Oh, a freaking... An Oprah freaking spawn of Satan. <laughs> oh, huh? Spawn of Satan is on the screen right here. Huh? Dang. With her freaking big blingy, because she gets paid millions of dollars yeah, she with her does. 480 views. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to call it trending. Yeah. Trending. You want to know what's She's trending? Trending. Here's what's trending, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get right to it. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is This is how we roll. This is what we bring to you. And I'm bringing it to you without a suit and tie. And you know what? I'm wearing oranges today. <laughs> okay. Your origin. Yeah. We we know what the oranges is. Okay. We know what the oranges is. We do. <laughs> oh, that's okay. pretty that's pretty clever. You're not going to hear this uh on very many places other than, you know, Marie Bartiromo, mm -hmm. Sunday News. I'm gonna play this all the way through. Yeah. Uh if you want me to stop through this, okay. I'm going to allow you to comment on this. You are. You're going to allow me. I'm going to allow you because this. you know what? Thank uh, you. You're the Melania of the Pete Santilli <laughs> show. I have to do what you tell me to do. I try to be. Or I get whacked. I try to be sensible. Stand by. Uh -huh. Here we go. This is the most important news. This is what's coming this week. This is what you've all been waiting for. Here we um, go. I've been waiting for this. I can't you guys, wait to see what I've been waiting for. Let's uh, let's start the week off uh, strong. When I start yelling and screaming. Do you want me to continue yelling and screaming about the truth, about the metrosexuals controlling the trending news with 480 views? Uh -huh. Or do you want Pete Santilli screaming about Mark, Ty Mark Dice having 250,000 views 10 hours ago? I know, for one not day. making it What's to the trending, trending column. What's trending yeah. in the news column? He's talking news. That's where I want to get my news. I want to find out about Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Schwarzenegger's alien baby. Okay? <laughs> I want my news from Mark Dice. I want my news from freaking Alex Jones. That's right. why I want my news. If it's trending, that's what's let's trending. See it. You know what? That's hey, what you're saying. I'm the freaking oranges of of that uh, trending. Uh, right? We yeah. need to determine the oranges of the freaking. <laughs> right? Oh, it's too good. Here we go. Too good. Me right now is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, Republican Congressman from California, Devin Nunes, joins us from the World Ag Expo in California this morning. Congressman Nunes was one of the first to cast doubt on the Russian collusion narrative. He has been working two years to uncover and expose it. He recently penned an op-ed in the Washington Examiner titled, The Russian Collusion Hoax Meets an Unbelievable End. And Congressman, it's always that, a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I think that volume is too low. Yeah. So let me, yeah, let me adjust it, okay? Because uh, the volume on the video is too low. So let me just uh, adjust it here. Stand by. Hold on a second. I will increase that, I think. Give me just a second. Let me increase it. Was it too low, you guys? Tell me. Was it too low? 
We're going to go with that. We're going to try that. Okay. Thank you. Great to be with you again. Look, this is the first time you and I are talking on this program. I spoke with you last week, I know, on, on Mornings with Marie on the Fox Business Network. But this is the first time we are talking after the conclusion of, of the no collusion from the uh, special counsel and from the AG. Congratulations. You ought to be taking a victory lap here, Congressman. You've been trying to expose all of this for the last two years, coming on this program uh, every several weeks to talk about it. How are you doing after this? I'm doing well, and I just want to thank you also for your show, because you're one of the few shows that actually let members of Congress and others come on and actually get into the meat of the details. So I would say that uh, your investigative journalism uh, has been great on this, Maria, uh, and there's still more work to do. And, you know, there's no really time for victory laps. because Pay very close attention, mm -hmm. okay? Because what you're about to hear, Deb and I, we reviewed this. What you're about to hear is exactly what we've been waiting for, okay? Pay close attention, all right? And uh, if you like us delivering trending, important, vital news, okay, we're delivering this to you. And by the way, I'm not a news guy. All I'm doing is bringing it forward because I'm not going to go by some freaking skinny jeans wearing metrosexual in Northern California to tell me, this is what you need to know. This is what's trending. This is all the stuff you need to see. See it? See it? With the little, little freaking lispy freaking multi-gender thing going on there? Huh? I don't <laughs> do that. I ate freaking steak this week. Cheap, cheap steak. <laughs> I get the tough stuff, right? I tell you. You do. Oh, yeah, it's a $5 steak. It's freaking tough steak. I eat it and I freaking come to work every day with my uh, with my oranges on. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, good. I like it. You know, people have to be held accountable for this nonsense. That's that absolutely right. And, and that's what our viewers want to know. Where is the accountability? You, you wrote this op-ed in the Washington Examiner. The Russian collusion hoax meets unbelievable end where you really laid out exactly how this started and how the Clinton campaign paid for a dirty dossier, which was then penetrated throughout our government, throughout the media to keep this narrative alive and put a cloud under a duly elected president for two years. Yeah, and I would also say this is kind of a strange uh, situation where you have McCarthyism, like new McCarthyism, that merged with Watergate wannabes. So you had unbelievable leaks that occurred across all levels of our government. You had all sorts of reporters. 90% of the press essentially was, was in on this. It started by, by dirtying up a presidential candidate, and then it went on to dirtying up a president. Uh, and you had a bunch of, I think, people within FBI, DOJ, we don't know exactly where, but they're like the wannabe, the next deep throat, uh, the person who's leaking classified information uh, for the betterment of all society. But in this case, it just got completely out of hand, and we've had unbelievable uh, disclosures of classified information. And this is why uh, you know, we've, we've been working so hard for two and a half years, waiting for a real attorney general, which we have now, an attorney general Barr, a grown-up is finally in the room, and which is why we're prepared to do a lot of cleanup here. Uh, let's talk about that cleanup and what comes next, because we want to get into where the law was broken. You are going to come out with a list of referrals, and you told me you are ready to hand this over to the AG this upcoming week. What can you tell us about this list of referrals and about the referral of criminal conduct that you are about to release, sir? So we've been working on this for two and a half years, compiling uh, information, right, as we've continued this investigation. Uh, we couldn't really send these criminal referrals over uh, without an attorney general in place. So we're prepared this week to notify the attorney general that we're prepared to, to send those referrals over uh, and brief him if he wishes to be briefed. We think they're, they're, they're pretty clear. Uh, but as of right now, this, is, this may not be all of them, but this cleans up quite a bit. Uh, we have eight referrals that we are prepared to send uh, over to the attorney general this week. All right. So you've got eight referrals that you're going to send over to the eight. Eight referrals. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to break them down. and He's going to tell you what they are and what they're about. Okay. This is not something. It's not a knee jerk reaction. Oh, the Mueller report's done. So we're going to just make up a bunch of stuff. He said, no, for two and a half years, we've been investigating this. We have eight referrals, and it's coming, ladies and gentlemen, this week. Okay, here we go. 
AG this week. Go through those referrals. These are criminal referrals. Two of them I know are about conspiracy. What can you tell us? Tell us as much as you can in terms of breaking this news this morning that you are prepared to send over eight criminal referrals next week. What are they, Congressman? So I would say that, first of all, all of these are classified or sensitive, and so because they, a lot of them could contain sensitive or classified information. Uh, five of them are what I would call straight-up referrals, so just referrals that, are, that name someone and name the specific crimes. Those crimes are lying to Congress, misleading Congress, leaking classified information. So five of them are, are those types. There are three uh, that I think are more complicated. So you mentioned conspiracy. So uh, the, the question on conspiracy is, is what, you know, there's the conspiracy statute, and then what do they, they need to look at under that statute? So on the first one is FISA abuse and other matters. We believe there was a conspiracy to lie to the FISA court, mislead the FISA court uh, by numerous individuals that all need to be investigated and looked at, uh, that, uh, and we believe the statute is, is the conspiracy statute. The second conspiracy one is uh, involving manipulation of intelligence. Uh, that also could ensnarl uh, many Americans. And we are, so that's kind of the second one. Can you guys say John Brennan? Can you say John Brennan? Everybody say John Brennan all together now. Everyone say James Clapper, John Brennan, Hillary Clinton. Come on, everybody. All together now. Hmm? John Brennan. I want that guy freaking swinging from the freaking gallows, mm -hmm. swinging from the gallows. So oh, what's your best champion. guess of the total eight? What do, what do you no, think? No, no, no. Listen closely to what he says. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what my guess is because my original guess when guess I saw too, this, the okay, the eight criminal referrals, mm -hmm. guess how many people that involves? Could be in the dozens. Yes. Okay. Listen. Yes. Uh, as you know, we've had a lot of concerns with the way intelligence was used. Uh, so that, that would be uh, kind of the two conspiracy uh, recommendations, referrals that we're, that we're making. The third uh, is what I would call a global leak uh, referral. So there are about a dozen highly, hi highly sensitive classified information leaks that were given to only a few reporters over the last two and a half plus years. So, you know, we don't know if there's actually been any leak investigations that have been open, uh, but we do believe that we've got pretty good information and a pretty good idea of who could be behind these leaks. It uh, doesn't mean we know all the people that are behind the leaks, because, you know, when you read these, a lot of these, they're always anonymous sources, uh, and they always say something to the effect of current and, and former senior uh, officials. So we think we've got a pretty good idea of, of who some of the sources are behind this, these leaks. Uh, we don't know if the Department of Justice has been looking at these, but you know, there's just been unprecedented things that have happened, and I'll just clo close with this. You had conversations with the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Australia leak. You had uh, uh, leaks of the President talking, President Trump talking to the Mexican President leak. Uh, we all know the travesty of General Flynn. Nobody knows where those uh, supposed transcripts came from. So those are just, you know, kind of three examples that... It's freaking espionage, okay? Mm -hmm. Colluding with the mainstream media in order to disparage the president around a fake Russia hoax that was paid for. Who colluded with the Russians? They actually went to Russia to get the information for Fusion GPS. It was started... March 16th, 2016, by John Brennan. Three months later, a guy that hadn't been to Russia for six years, uh, Christopher Steele from Fusion GPS. A guy that wasn't in Russia for six years. There was Russian information that was conveyed through the Fusion GPS report. That uh, if you consider the oranges of where it came from. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to say freaking oranges. Now... <laughs> <laughs> We're worried about oranges, okay? Mm -hmm. If my president says freaking oranges, we go full born freaking grapefruit juice. There you go. <laughs> that, are, that are absolutely horrific, but there's, there's things that are even worse that were leaked. Uh, and there's only a couple, uh, two or three reporters involved in this. And so it wouldn't be hard to get to the bottom of, uh, but you've got to, so we're, you know, we're prepared to make those uh, eight referrals this week. So 
the two on conspiracy, the one on uh, global leaks. I also want to say Mad Cow Mark is back in the thing. Mm -hmm. Mad Cow Mark, I sent you an email. I wanted to reach out to Mad Cow Mark. Yeah. He thought I was screaming at him the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I think he he uh, found, because I was talking about the, the the Q stuff as a source of information. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of stuff going on about Q's not real, Q's not this. I don't even care about that stuff. If I can go get information from a freaking Grover's garbage can on Sesame Street. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. That would be Oscar the Grouch. There's an entire but... industry of people that are saying, well, Grover's got a freaking hand up his butt and he's not mm -hmm. real. Okay, that's great. What's in the freaking garbage can? Mm -hmm. I found some scraps. I'm hungry. I got a freaking old Big Mac wrapper, right? right? But Mad Cow Mark thought that maybe I was referring to him. And I absolutely agree. There's, are you kidding me? I got kicked from Patriot Soapbox. These guys are a bunch of freaking jamokes. I've already spoken out about them. Yeah. They are not the arbiter of truth as to the information that's being shared. Mm -hmm. It's all being done by the beautiful people in the, you know, I, I believe the Q community, the community is us, mm -hmm. us deplorables, okay? Attack, attacking, you know, Q is to delete all the Q patriots, right? And, mm -hmm. I, and I'm not going to do that. I love the information. You can't attack my president and say that Russia elected him. No, mm -hmm. but that's to attack 63 million people, okay? Right. So, Mad Cow Mark, I'm really glad to see you in because he has never, ever, never once has Mad Cow Mark ever told me to do or say anything. No, of course not. No, absolutely never. Yeah. Yeah. And you like it. And I like, I love that. And I'm glad to see Mad Cow Mark in. He's from Australia. Too. He's more freaking red. We got a red vest brigade in Australia going Isn't on. Isn't that cool? Oh, my goodness. It's so beautiful. It's so, Mad Cow thing. Mark, good to see you in the house. Good to see you in the house. Thank you. Very, and then five cool. that are more specific on lying, leaking, uh, and misleading Congress. Explain to our audience what criminal referral means, because, you know, we've been talking about Listen. this as well for two years, and our audience wants to know where the accountability is. We already know that there was a criminal referral uh, to uh, Andrew McCabe, the number two guy at the FBI. So where does that stand? What does that mean that he was criminally referred? He's out on a book tour. So, you know, viewers are saying, well, okay, he was criminally referred, but he's still on his book tour. So what does that really mean for accountability? I think it's a great question because people get so frustrated, you know, as I am all over, a, you know, go around the United States of America and in my district. Now, also... I want you to listen closely to what he says. As far as the patience, okay, because we are constitutional patriots. We are. We have three branches of government, and there's a reason for that, okay? And from what I understand, even uh, uh, at the Supreme Court level, they're revolting, saying, hey, we can do our own thing, and Kavanaugh is actually going along with Judge Roberts, and they're voting for friggin' liberal crap, right? Just to show their power, and they are. They're, they're, they're all co-equal branches of government. You get the legislative, the judicial, and the executive. And as a constitutionalist, I want it that way. Okay? I want it that way. I want the legislature. I want fat bastard Jerry Nadler to say, I want to see your, your uh, tax returns. And then I want the executive branch through the attorney general to say, I, I didn't even hear what you just said. I'm too busy over here. I don't even need to respond to you. I want that. Want them to battle stuff out that way and then have Attorney General Barr. We're going to talk about the constitutionality and the law as it relates to those tax returns. And they're going to stick it to Nadler because there's a political thing. But these poli this politicking that's going on, it's happening at the, the judiciary. The judiciary is actually starting now to throw some votes to say, hey, politically, we're going to do whatever the frig we want. And if you think you can control us politically, Watch this. Politically, we're going to vote for your freaking political opposition. They're doing that. They're wielding their freaking power. Because there's, there's some very important votes coming up. Okay? They don't want it to be political. They want it to be raw, real, in the judiciary. I want that. I want the Supreme Court justices to be an, an equal, a co-equal branch of power. I want the executive to be a co-equal branch. I want it to be solid. You can't minimize the power of the presidency at the executive level. You can't do that, okay? And then legislatively, right? 
I don't want the political operatives right now that are in the House right now. They're p- playing straight politics, trying to destroy our country politically. They really, really are. I have evidence of that. And I want the executive to be able to say, guess what? You have zero authority. Check this out. We're not going to even answer you. You're not going to get the freaking tax returns. And we're going to fight you all the way to the Supreme Court. I want that equal power between the executive and the legislative. There is. And we want that. So listen closely to what he says. Because we are patient. Okay? We don't have Antifa throwing poop at people to get things done. We actually have a constitutional process we're about to get through. And we must respect that. Okay? Because we are a nation of laws, law and order. And we are people that, you know, we... We take a knee for Jesus, right? We stand for our flag and our constitution. And we will uphold these constitutional principles that he's about to speak of. So I want you guys, no matter how impatient we are, because I believe that President Trump is actually, he's actually been, believe it or not, as erratic as they say he is, he's been extremely, extremely patient. He's been extremely patient, very patient. Constitutionally, he's going to exercise his authority. And he's got allies in Nunez over at the uh, uh, at the legislative uh, side, right? People are frustrated. They're like, why can't you do anything? People have to understand there's three branches of government. We're the legislative branch. We don't we don't strap on guns and bring handcuffs out to the crime scene. All we can do is investigate. We can take information from folks. We can interview people. And as you as everyone knows, that's what we've been doing for two and a half years. But we don't have the power to arrest or convict. So we have to to take these criminal referrals to the Department of Justice with all of our all the information, all the work that we've done. And what we do want is the oversight in the investigation that has taken place with. uh, I mean, I hate to say this, Trey Gowdy. Trey Gowdy's done a pretty good job with Nunez and with you got uh, Jim Jordan, all these guys. President Trump, huh? What's that? No, nope, sorry about that. Collectively. Collectively, mm-hmm. uh, legislatively, collectively, they've conducted a very thorough investigation. These are all whippersnapper attorneys. Mm-hmm. These are former prosecutors. They know they know how to present a case. And when they hand this thing to Barr, they say we can't arrest. But guess what? You have no choice but to read this, right? Mm-hmm. And Barr's going to look at that and say, "Holy cow." Uh, what were you guys doing before I got here, right? Rosenstein, your name's on this. Dude, I'm going to freaking prosecute you. I have no choice. Look at what they just served up. Two and a half years. That's before I got here. Looks like you're going to be prosecuted, dude. It's a criminal referral, right. Rosenstein. Mm-hmm. You're screwed. Ask uh, the Department of Justice to take these up. And look, maybe the Department of Justice already has investigations open, and maybe they don't. Uh, But they are the investigative arm. Now, it gets more complicated because you have the top officials in the Department of Justice and the FBI that are likely involved in the referrals that we're we're going to make. So so with that said, uh, this is why it's so sensitive, why we want to we want to give this directly to the attorney general and let him decide how to take these these referrals. Then at the same time, it just because we have information and the executive branch decides to to look at that information. All Americans have the right to a, to a fair trial, and that goes to the judicial branch of our government. So I know it's frustrating, uh, but we have three branches of government uh, government uh, for a reason. Did you hear what he just said? That all Americans mm-hmm. have a right to a fair trial. When's the last time you heard that as it relates to the president? Yeah, really, no kidding. Okay, think mm-hmm. think of that. Now, to picture the we are Christian patriots. We're constitutional. We're law and order. Right? We mm-hmm. are. We're all those things. With that must come patience, because even still, I mean, an investigation over two plus years, there's a lot of evidence, enough to bring an indictment, indictments. There's enough to do that. Mm -hmm. But even still, an indictment, okay, is just an indictment. Uh, They're still innocent until proven guilty. But moving to the point to where we've conducted a very thorough investigation, there's we're not leaking stuff. We're not using the media. Obviously, we don't have the media. But he's conveying the truth here. And he you is. guys, ha- we have to, we must remain patient. We must have resolve. And in the end, okay, they're going to bring the whole freaking system down. Because mm-hmm. the system is corrupt. It's not that we're going to be attacking it, okay? I mean, it is an evil, evil, corrupt system. We've already seen that. 
Look at how patient we've been just sitting here saying, oh, my goodness. Right. We're, we've we've uh, even President Trump has taken so many slings and arrows. Nobody that I know could take that level of freaking pressure that this man has taken. His entire reputation has been destroyed. Just think his global business, the Trump organization, if you were to consider just the business aspect of what he's got on the line here. Right. Right. Look, look at the defamation and the libel and the slander that he's had to endure through this thing, I believe unjustifiably. Uh, and we have to work within those bounds of the Constitution. But you are an elected official. You, one would think an elected official sends over criminal referrals to the attorney general. The AG will take it seriously and perhaps launch an investigation, criminal investigation. Yeah, I think, look, I think it's impossible to ignore uh, you know, some of these are very straight up. I mean, you I mean, if they're busting people, you know, if the Mueller team was busting people for lying to the FBI, I mean, there's some you know, pretty simple uh, times when people lied to Congress, misled Congress, you know, for the sole purpose of obstructing uh, our investigation. And remember what we were tr what we were trying to get to the bottom of that was that the Department of Justice and the FBI and the Clinton campaign were essentially taking information from Russians. You know, the very thing they were looking at the Trump campaign for. So so I would be surprised if they don't uh, if they don't take this up. Some of these up that are very just cut and dry, very simple, could be prosecuted uh, in a short amount of time. How many people is this capturing? You've got eight referrals. Several people lied to Congress. Several people also apparently misled the FISA court. And I want you to explain how they misled the FISA court. But first, tell us how many people is this capturing? Can you give us any names on this list in terms of your referrals? Well, I'm not, I'm not prepared to give any names, but I think most people that have followed uh, Russiagate uh, for a long time, they know a lot of the names. But there's five that are straight up, five names. Uh, then there are, when you, when you get to the leaks, we don't know. We think there's only a few people behind these leaks, but there could be multiple people. So on, on the leak, the global leak uh, referral, there could be, there could be several uh, individuals. When you look at the conspiracy, I mean, that could get up to a dozen, two dozen people. So, you know, for example, we don't know all the people that are involved. Look, we know Strzok and Page and we know they're. Did you hear what yes. he said? Dozen, two dozen people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these eight criminal referrals could uh, have a bunch of people under them. Okay. Yes. This is going to be a big thing. It's going to happen this week, you guys. This is huge news. Yeah, it is. Where, where have you heard this anywhere in the, in the mainstream media? OK, mm -hmm. uh, if 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 the if the the uh, the sides were reversed, right. if they had Trump, what would they be doing? Twenty four seven breaking news, bombshell information. It's coming down. It's over. It's just time in the barrel. It's President Trump. It's impeachment. And twenty four seven, they would be doing this. Not a freaking peep. Not a peep. You know how huge yeah. this is going to be mm -hmm. for us, for we deplorables. And, and, and just think, ladies and gentlemen, this is why, you know, I yell and scream and, and I do my thing. And you know what? Everybody else is yelling and screaming inside. Yes. Picture this. You're being cut away oh, I love from that. all this stuff. Huh? I love the way you put that. Everybody else is yelling and screaming Everyone inside. else is yelling and screaming inside. On the okay. Inside. And I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing this because, yeah. you know, I mean, first of all, we love you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we're putting this out. doesn't matter if it's 10 people. Okay. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg can can try to keep 10 of us away because, you know what, ultimately we're going to take 10 and we're going to get around all of their economics, uh, their their uh, economic, their censorship. Yeah. We're going to get around all of their controls. We're going to do that. We, the people, will do this. Mm -hmm. We, the people, will ultimately be victorious. I'm going to be patient through this thing. But identify who is, what are they doing over at Facebook? We had what are they doing? Just the other day, thousands of people. They figured out what do they do. They uh -huh. cut us off. They say this is they we're trying to do best. No, you're a freaking Chicom Marxist election meddler. That's mm -hmm. what you are. Mm -hmm. You need to be put in freaking shackles, mm -hmm. Zuckerberg. You and your freaking Chicom wife. Okay, trying to election meddle over at Facebook. Yeah, I've got some news in that regard. Let's continue on. Here we Let's go. Hear it. Their involvement because they've been interviewed. But, you know, there's other people that were above Strzok and below Strzok that have not been interviewed. So we don't know uh, if they're involved in this conspiracy or not. But, yeah. you know, one of the things that has been great is, we, is we've had so many whistleblowers, so many people over the last two and a half years that have come, great Americans who have come and said, look, look, this isn't right. 
and you guys have to get to the bottom of it. And it's been, it's been an unbelievable uh, investigation that we've undertaken, uh, but I think one that has been quite fruitful so that we can put the United States on the road to recovery to get over this, this manufactured hoax. Yeah, and, and manufactured is what you might call what John Brennan has been going uh, along with for the last two years, calling the president treasonous. Is he on your list? I mean, John Brennan walking around with his CIA title, former director of the CIA. When he speaks, you sit up and listen. And for the last two years, he said the president committed treason. Yeah, well, look, what I would say about, uh, about all of these uh, former uh, uh, intelligence heads uh, is that you know th this is just not appropriate? I think at some point Congress is going to have to look at these laws and decide. You know, do we really want our former CIA director or DNI director going out publicly, uh, going onto television, getting huge television contracts? I don't know. Maybe we need to look at uh, look at how this is set up again because it, it really puts somebody in in a bind if they can be right. out. Put, it puts Americans in a bind to, if they can say, "I've seen the classified information." I'm going to say this, mm. okay? As a, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm a big advocate for the First Amendment. The mm -hmm. First Amendment does not apply to a coup plotting mainstream media. Oh, amen. To okay, that. it doesn't apply to them. So I want those freaking journalists put in freaking handcuffs mm. that were given classified materials, classified materials that was being used by the intel services, mm -hmm. colluding with the mainstream media for the purposes of overthrowing our government. That's right. Okay. It is, it is sedition, okay? It is a seditious conspiracy. There's no First Amendment protections that you have for the overthrow of the government. I want those journalists because there were three of them, yes. he said. Did you hear that? Yes. There were three that were given anonymous information. That anonymous information came from the intel services. It was for the purposes of overthrowing the government you will go in handcuffs. Who is the person that gave it to you? Yeah. You freaking spill the beans right now. You do not have constitutional protections. It's a matter of national security. You're being charged with freaking sedition. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It'll be tough because I, they're the, not going to have constitutional protections. Well, I mean, it's going to be tough to get around that. Yeah, we'll bring them up for freaking military tribunals then. <laughs> Okay, the UCMJ doesn't apply. Well, you know, I mean, that? as much as disdain as we have for the mainstream media, we have to be very, very careful. These are CIA operatives. I'm mm -hmm. not going to be that careful. Then put them in the freaking, line them up in the firing squad mm -hmm. once they're arrested, tried, convicted for treason against the United States of America. It's not treason. It's, uh, it's the overthrow of our government. Mm -hmm. They're colluding to do that. I, I, I'm not going to be stuck in this constitutional rut. Constitution doesn't apply to the, the people that are attempting to overthrow our government. The media is complicit in that. Yeah. The, the media shall not have First Amendment protections. They better be setting up military tribunals for these people. Mm. Okay? Suspend mm -mm -mm. the Constitution when it comes to overthrow the government mm -hmm. using the media and the intel services for those people. Suspend it. That's not, you know what? Picture this, okay? If the journalist said this is a matter of, public interest, okay? I need to bring this information forward, right? These are CIA operatives. We don't even know who these CIA operatives are in the mainstream media. Right. It is so infected the mainstream media. This corporatism, this whole thing that is oppositional to uh the 63 million people that voted for the president, they're in opposition to that. They're overthrowing our government. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't apply that they're going to as a matter of public interest. Since when is the media operated with the with the public's interest in mind? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think if you can prove to me that for two years you were so concerned about the public and you didn't lie to them, then we'll say that you did that as a matter of public interest. Right. No, you did it as a matter of overthrowing the government. I'm very sorry to say this as a constitutionalist. I shouldn't be saying that. Okay. Well, but. And a member of, the, of the free press. Okay, that makes it different because, uh, I mean, that's what's going to have to be decided here. We're, we're heading into this territory that we've never headed never. into before no. in our country. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cases we should have with yeah. JFK. Yeah. We should have done it then. If we had done it then, this wouldn't be happening today, mm -hmm. right? What the press was doing to him, um, right? Uh, all kinds of different people who've been... Yeah, who who have been so demonized 
that they've been they ended up being assassinated, which is something else you're going to be talking about here in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, and that's what well, actually, happens. you know what? I think I might uh, push uh, the assassination stuff with Julian Assange out to uh, three o'clock. Yeah, to three o'clock. Okay, because yeah. I have uh, an important thing. Let's let's continue on. You want to? But go ahead and finish your thought. But um, if, you know, we're headed in. We're he- the media went here. Okay, uh, CNN went there. MSNBC, even Fox News to a certain degree with uh, Shepard and with uh, Shepard. Uh, what's it? Shepherd Smith? Smith. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of our other good friend. Judge Napolitano, too. Yeah. I mean, um, even they went there to a certain degree. So um, we have to find out. You have to find out um, who's leaking. Mm-hmm. So are they going to are they going to charge? What are they going to charge these news people with these reporters with that gets around their protection uh, from the Constitution? Because we don't want we do not want in this country for um, All right, this is what I a do. news source to ever have to give up their source, but that's you, what's going to have to happen. You wanna, you wanna that's hear what this? they're going to be asking. You want to hear this right now? You ready? Uh-huh. You sit Pete Santelli down and you say, I understand as a journalist, you thought it was a matter of public interest. I want to let you know something right now that John Brennan, okay, John Brennan started this thing on a freaking hoax, colluded with the Russians and uh-huh. then used you as a propaganda outlet as a tool right do you want to protect that source that attempted to overthrow the government by using you as a pawn Mm. or do you want for national security reasons to say i would never do this unless i knew all the facts that i had before me Mm -hmm. that i was used that the media should never ever ever be used that that would be the one instance where i would want to out my source because they tried to use me as a mainstream media tool right i'm not complicit in the overthrow of the government and i'm going to prove it to you Right. John Brennan's the one that gave it to me mm. and he used me and he tried to overthrow the government and he tried to deceive the American people through using me. I'm going to out him. Yeah. OK. Mm-hmm. That's different than protecting a source like with Will- with uh, uh, WikiLeaks. Julian Assange received, you know, emails. Right. Right. Anyways, different there. It's very, very different. Overthrow the government is very different. It uh, is. I'm when not going to be the one making a decision. <laughs> I'm just providing commentary. Yeah, well, I have a pretty strong ta- opinion on it. When we start talking that, yeah. And I can tell you there may be a crime there. It's, it's just not right. Congressman, you just broke news on the program that you are sending eight criminal referrals to the AG next week. Three of them uh, around conspiracy, lying, leaking. Now, one of them, That's conspiracy it. to lie to the FISA court, Congressman. We wow. had on your colleague, Jim Big Hines, news, recently, who kept pushing back, saying that there was absolutely no wrongdoing uh, in front of the FISA court. And you say? Uh, well, I don't really care what they say. I mean, they've you know, lied multiple times to the American people. All you have to do is look at their phony memos. Uh, they've had the full support of the media, 90% of the media in this country. They all have egg on their face. Uh, but the, and so the fact of the matter remains, is, there gonna be, is justice going to be served or is justice going to be denied? Mm. And that's why we're sending over these criminal referrals. So, you know, there's, there's so much left. Remember, the American people have only seen the pieces that have been declassified so far that we were luckily be, been able to make classified and let the American people know about how the FISA court was abused. There's still more information. I've said this before, this was their insurance policy. A lot of people think the insurance policy was just the overall investigation of the Trump campaign. It's actually much more conspiratorial than that uh, that's left behind there. There was exculpatory information. We've talked about it on your, on your show many times. So, uh, you know, look, Maria, I, if you take uh, what the Democrats have said uh, throughout uh, the last two and a half years, there's only one thing that you can be certain of, mm. and that is whatever they tell you, is wrong or a lie or they actually mean the opposite okay huge huge news now i'm going to put yeah. all of you crazy crats on notice all right and i'm going to quadruple down here all right and i'm going to tell you this i'd lay my life on the line for this one right here as far as my prediction my reputation i'm going to lay this out on the line my reputation you will not get president trump's tax returns And I absolutely stick with what you're about to hear from Jay Sokolow, all right? Right. About the law, okay? We don't use tax returns for political purposes. For that reason and that reason alone, that you don't even have probable cause to pull the black guy over. You're just in a bad neighborhood and you're a white cop and you're profiling. I'm going to say you don't have a right to pull him over. You don't have a right. 
You had your chance to get his tax returns. Politically, you should have fought and said, why, uh, why are you not uh, disclosing and had that, that battle then? Now you're butthurt because the Mueller collusion thing didn't come out your way. So now you want to use tax returns for political reasons. I'm going to say, guess what? You lost your chance, you bunch of freaking crazy crap wing nuts. You're not going to get his tax returns. And I support that. As a matter of fact, Red Vest Brigade members, he's not going to be overthrown. Okay? So we don't need to go stand out in front of the White House. I say Red Vest Brigade members stand around his freaking tax returns. We defend those things. Okay? And we say you're, you are you got to get through us to get to those tax returns because you're not going to continue this coup d'etat. Right. By and getting, that's what it's all about, really. That, that's all it is. Straight, yeah. po straight political. Let's yeah, listen to know. Jay Sokolow. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring in now Jay Sekulow, the president's attorney. You just heard the congressman right there, uh, Jay, say the law is pretty clear, and I've read the law. It does say the IRS shall turn over their turns after a legitimate request from the chairman. A legitimate request from the chairman. He doesn't have a legitimate request. And the Supreme Court has said that you can do that if you have a legitimate legislative purpose. And with due respect to the congressman, he said there's been a lack of transparency. Uh, he thinks the president should have. You don't you don't get tax returns because you want transparency. No, there needs to be. If you're conducting a, a legitimate uh, investigation, we've already had one. We've already had a legitimate investigation. You have the special counsel that you you said that. That Bob Mueller, right? You even protected Bob Mueller. You said, we must pass a law that says that President Trump can't re remove Bob Mueller. Bob Mueller's the guy. Wait, didn't they pass a law saying you're not going to be able to remove the special counsel? Mm -hmm. They passed legislation to protect Bob Mueller. And now you don't like what he had to say. You protected him. And now you don't want to protect him anymore. Oh, let's go over here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get some transparency over here in the corner. No, that's for political assassination purposes. That's not a legitimate reason. We're going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. You're not going to get his tax returns, you bunch of freaking multi-gender crazy crats. Okay? Put forward his tax returns uh, before he announced or when he announced his candidacy for president, which sounds interesting, but unfortunately, it's not the law. Uh, for, for the uh, United States. We don't have a requirement that presidents do that. This president uh, decided not to because he has an ongoing IRS audit. So that's number one. What is the legitimate legislative purpose? Number two is the Supreme Court has said that on multiple occasions that uh, congressional oversight cannot become law enforcement. So this idea that the real reason that the Congress and, and Chairman Neal has asked for these documents is because they want to know if the IRS is doing its job and auditing the president. Well, they could ask the IRS, what job are they doing? What are their audit procedures? But this idea that you can use the IRS as a political weapon, which is what's happening here, is incorrect both, is incorrect both as a matter of... Be becomes very, very dangerous because there's other people who have not disclosed their taxes. Nancy Pelosi, a whole bunch of people. They have huge business interests. Mm -hmm. I don't want President Trump's, because you know how they are, uh, they want to find out who your donors are. So they go after your freaking donors. They want to find out who your all your MeWe followers are, like they're doing right now, attacking freaking MeWe, bringing down MeWe on exploits, bringing down tens of thousands of people on MeWe. You got Southern Poverty Law Center trolls in there exploiting me they want to know who the followers are let's cut them off yeah, it's started, that's how they operate yeah, it's getting on the radar you're gonna throw poop you're mm -hmm. gonna cut them down you're gonna shut them that's the only thing you can do that's the only way that marxism will be able to flourish is to be able to attack and assassinate politically by going after president everyone listed on Pre president trump's tax returns no you're not mm -hmm. gonna get them confidential at this point okay screw you you bunch of freaking marxists statutory law and constitutionally. We should not be in a situation where individuals, individual private tax returns are used for political purposes. As you just said, George, what stops another party from do you doing the same thing? And by the way, a lot of Is these the congressmen and do women. That? The, no, 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 he hasn't. Congress has. 
A majority of the, uh, the, the majority party in the House has, the president has not. The president has not asked for Nancy Pelosi's tax returns, which, Notice by the that. way, and, and it's in the letter that my colleague uh, sent forward uh, on this issue, they have not asked for or, not, or have produced, they've not produced their tax returns. It's not a requirement that they do, by the way. So this idea that you're using a hearing, an, uh, a Ways and Means hearing about IRS enforcement as a way to get to the president's private individual and business tax returns makes no sense both constitutionally and statutorily. And look, this I think is going to be, if, if necessary, we're not at that point yet. If it has to be litigated, it'll be litigated. It is the decision of the IRS commissioner. Is the president going to order the IRS commissioner not to turn them over? Absolutely. We're going to surround the, the freaking IRS with the Red Vest Brigade if we have to. And, and All right? The In the same leader, fashion, George, because this is yet counsel, another mechanism right that you want to use for to political purposes to assassinate the vote of 63 million freaking people. Uh, so what you have to that by here, going after President Trump's tax returns, you are attacking 63 million people. That sent a multi-billion there, even if he's freaking mafia crookster, we knew he was going to go there with a mandate to clean out the freaking deep state and, and be on notice uh, hillary clinton the letter, mm -hmm. huh? the right you want to see some freaking exactly tax results let's look at hillary clinton's clinton foundation taxes first yeah. let's take a look at her freaking tax books let's take a look at that jumbo jet that they used uh, that the irs the fbi the freaking dea uh, ice and the freaking ABCs and freaking Sesame Street uh, went down there to get all of her stuff. Let's take a look at that stuff I want first. I want to see well, 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 those George, taxes not, first. Not okay? Mm -hmm. they it. I'm going to put you on notice, Hillary Clinton, so you freaking scumbag, freaking I mean, so Benghazi criminal. Releasing it. Mm. Uh, Your deep state days are well, numbered. It's coming down. We're going to bring you down. I want your freaking keister right at the drain as the swamp seems just starts going to over the last few days and his comments and those of your colleague Rudy Giuliani mm -hmm. that there seems I want her 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 keister to be on that drain right as it's just that? slurping the slop no, down as we drain that freaking swamp that your days here, are uh, numbered to, to Barack Obama is, you NDAA basketball dribbler. Going to discuss the principal National Defense Authorization Act. That's not racist. Uh, in, uh, right. That's right. Conclusions. National no Defense exactly. Authorization no Act. On the okay? Piece, and guess what else? That the Office of Special Counsel said there was Five dollar super chat. Thank you very much. What's good for the goose? Fact, good for the gander? You want one? We get all. That's right. Bring it. Uh, Look at it. Stephen Hadeen, five dollars. Five dollars. James Adams, five dollars. H. Deloach. Ben Time Traveler, kicking us off. It is. With so a $1 super chat this morning. This, Thank uh, you very much for your support. You guys keep supporting. Okay. Who, who, where should the, uh, all of our if, money if go? Should it go to, members of that team to CBS? Because CBS uh, uh, wants to present. Uh, to Here, let me tell you where, where CBS, what CBS wants one, to promote. Two, you want to know what well, CBS wants to promote? This is what CBS is promoting. Do you want your dollars to go to... Uh, to CBS, that, or know, do you want it to go tweet, to the Pete Santilli show? See, because this is what CBS uh, is promoting. CBS wants way, this freaking goof tard, all right, to be fighting in war, mm -hmm. okay? This person right here, which I don't want them fighting in war, all right? Here, hold on a second. Oh, damn. Hold on a second. It's just not going to be able to go because uh, because I'm outputting your stuff. Uh, I, I want to uh, I want to play this here and I'm going to go, I'm going to switch computers here. Stand by. Hold on. Okay. Uh, because CBS Sunday morning, Charlotte Clymer uh, being transgender shouldn't matter in the military. It does matter. And I believe that uh, that that Charlotte should be able to get a job at, at the in the military, uh, maybe in the uh, as an S1 clerk. OK, or maybe working at the chow hall or something like that in combat. I don't know if that's appropriate, but CBS is pushing this narrative like it's okay to have trans transgenders out on the battlefield. I mean, let's be really clear about that. Mm -hmm. I'm opposed to that, but I'm all for transgenders filling roles that are less critical, okay? Because mm -hmm. you've got a lot of considerations with somebody who's transgender out on the battlefield. They've right. got medication they yeah. need to freaking take. They've got medical concerns. I love concerns. that. I love um, what you're saying here because I believe that 
anyone who wants to should be allowed to serve their country. Absolutely. They should. And anybody should. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think we should be paying for their uh, transition uh, surgeries. A lot of transgenders that will join the uh, military in hopes that that gets paid for, right? Um, and things like that. I mean, you know, but medically wise, it's it's super expensive. And I understand why Trump and a lot of people are going the way that they are because in order to keep them in... Um, feeling and looking like a woman or a man. Remember, it goes the other way too. There's a lot of ladies out there that want to look like men. Uh, these drugs are very expensive. Uh, they have to be administered in a timely manner. A lot of them cause, uh, especially in the men, when they're taking the hormones and the estrogen and all of the stuff that it takes for them to be able to look, uh, saw, have a softer voice and a more feminine look and boobs and all that stuff. Um, It messes with their chemistry and their brain, kind of makes them a little bit, I'm sure not everyone, but makes them a little bit unstable. Um, That's proven science. That's proven that that happens. Mm -hmm. And so these are things that you have to take into consideration. I know that uh, a lot of people, especially the liberals, if they were to hear what you just said, oh, you know, maybe a desk job or a cook or something like that, you know, um, they're going to they're going to get very upset about that because that's the way men used to talk about women, you know, back in the day. Right. Mm-hmm. But seriously, you have to really I, I, I could see where uh you know, our president and uh, the people in charge, Pentagon especially, have to have to really think about this, right? And have to think about sending transgender into uh, transgenders into a war zone where or into a, a country where these things may not be readily available, the medication that they need, number one sending them into countries where this is really, really frowned upon the enemy, right? Um, targeting <clears throat> specifically targeting, right? Yeah. Yeah. And just the overall mental stability yeah. of a person who, who is facing a transition, yes. uh, facing, uh, you know, now balancing listen. the medication that they have to take in their brain. Just, so. just as everyone, including CBS, because CBS, by the way, where where do you want your? Oh, uh, nobody wants to support. Uh, I, every time I say, "Oh, we need your support," it, it just we get crickets and people don't support. Maybe I shouldn't say no. that anymore. Cynthia just said, "Desk jobs and cooks are both contractor jobs." Yeah, yeah. Check it out. We you mm-hmm. don't need to join the military. You can still serve the military. But but here's here's my my position here, ladies and gentlemen. OK, I have do I not have a right to bring this up? I'm a former um, uh, uh, military uh, person. I, I worked for the government. I'm a, still I consider myself still to be a U.S. Marine. Mm-hmm. I have a decision to make here as to whether or not I want to allow CBS. The one that's trending with 460, 468 views mm-hmm. that YouTube is pushing. Why are they pushing that? Because they want you to see this stuff in between the regular news. You see, they want to see this social engineering thing. And I want to oppose it. And I have a voice in this thing. And I have to be able to express my opinion. And guess what? If I'm going to do it with a little bit of humor, and I did this to Mm -hmm. make my point, okay? Uh, Because this person who I'm very compassionate towards, the transgender individual, all right? And, And we know transgenders. We do. Mm -hmm. who are making much more patriotic contributions to our society than half the freaking libtards or freaking some of the gooftard uh, uh, conservative patriots, so-called patriots, right? Don't you agree with that? Yeah. But guess what? Those same people that we talk to don't want this social engineering that's going on right here. If you don't see anything wrong with this, okay, then I'm going to snap you all to it, okay? I don't want this person out on the battlefield. I just don't. And I need to be able to say that. You can't wrap up your political agenda in a freaking, in a multi-gender so that Mm -hmm. I can't speak of it. I'm going to speak of it. And I'm going to say that there are considerations. We need to have a discussion as to whether or not 
w- w- whatever the role should be in the military. We have to have that discussion, okay? Because uh-huh. you don't just grab CBS. They're not military experts. Right. You know what they are? They're social engineering experts. They're trying to push a freaking agenda well, like that. What about this. somebody like Chelsea Manning? A proud transgender woman. The Trump administration's attempted ban on transgender people. Chelsea Manning was a freaking uh, intel analyst. Okay. Uh-huh. Do that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but allowed to be in the military, yeah. right? Charlotte Clymer being transgender shouldn't I mean, Chelsea matter Manning found in the niche. military. It does matter in the military. Huh? Right. It does matter in the military. Don't just broad stroke it and say being transgender shouldn't matter in the in the military. Watch. The military hits home for me. It's personal. For over three years, I carried caskets in Arlington National Cemetery. I folded American flags for loved ones. I ceremoniously unloaded transfer cases of the remains of our fallen warriors in uniform, being carried home from Iraq and Afghanistan to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Every casket and transfer case I carried was covered by an American flag, every single one. And that is all I remember about any of them. I never knew their race. I never knew their religion or education or birthplace. I didn't know their political party or who they voted for. Anyways. There, there's a discussion that has to be had, ladies and gentlemen, as to what the role needs to be uh, in the military. And does it need to be in military uniform? Because mm-hmm. it, it, when you're in military uniform, uh, even if you're working as a an admin clerk, uh, your first and foremost job responsibility is as a rifleman in the, Mar- in the Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. You have to go to the range. You have to be able to to take up arms and defend yourself. I mean, you still need to be prepared for that combat role. That is the function of everybody in the military. Right. Guess what? We had civilian contractors from from General Dynamics and Lockheed. I mean, they, they were working with it. They were civilians. Mm-hmm. They weren't expected to freaking take up arms, but they had a role to play and served our military, right? Mm-hmm. As civilians. Right. You don't need to be putting on a freaking uniform. You don't have to, just like you said. There, there are somebody said that there, there are contractors, and if you don't see anything yeah, wrong I with that, I think they should be allowed to put on a uniform too. I mean, I, I said, what's that? I think they should be allowed to put on a uniform. Why? What? 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 I just described to you what that means to have have military uniform on. That everyone needs to be prepared to fight in war to defend our nation or even your current position, even if you're an admin clerk. Ultimately, you're in uniform. You're prepared, ready to go. But your daily job function is to be licking stamps as an S1 clerk. Mm-hmm. Okay? Well, don't you think that, though, that in a situation like that, I mean, if uh, that... How about this? Will it really matter? Okay, how about this? Here's where we're going to go with this, mm-hmm. is that the discussion mm-hmm. needs to be had. I'm not going to have CBS just push a one-way agenda. They're not military experts. They're propagandists. Okay? Sure. I want to be able to have this discussion as to what they should do or, or couldn't do. Right? Mm-hmm. And have an open and honest discussion. I'm not allowed to talk about that because I'll get shut down, you know, right. because, oh, my goodness, you say something like I, I, this is what I said. I said, if you don't think there's anything wrong with this, then you would have loved, loved. I loved Vera de Milo uh-huh. and in living color. And I used yep. a little bit of humor to get my point because I would love to be able to shut uh, to be shut down on Twitter for bringing up Mira de, uh, uh, Vera de Milo. Right. Uh-huh. I loved Vera de Milo. Back then, right. I love Vera DeMilo today. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. But I should be able to have a discussion and to make fun of the whole situation. I don't want CNN or uh, CBS to be pushing a freaking narrative for whoever it is that they're pushing without us being able to have this discussion that we're having right now. Right. We have a right to have this discussion, don't we? We absolutely do. We absolutely do. Uh-huh. And that's where I'm pushing the envelope right now. Home workout with Vera DeMilo. Hi, everybody. This is one of my favorite characters this ever. This is when you were allowed to be politically incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Vera Tamilo. <laughs> you know, before I learned how to exercise huh? properly. I, shut me down on Twitter. I dare you to shut me down on Twitter for praising Vera Tamilo. Okay? I want to be able to have the discussion. I want to be able to express my opinion about it. And guess what? Mm-hmm. I want to be able to be proven wrong by you, okay? Not by CBS, not by some corporation, not even by the freaking military, okay? Because the military is going to be made up of we the people. Right. 
And if you've got some qualified <laughs> transgender that says, hey, you know what? I, I don't even need to wear a freaking uniform, but I want to serve my country, you know? Set me up as a contractor. I'll go freaking peel potatoes or fold flags, yeah, right? You know, I mean, you're not talking about gays in the military here, right? No. I mean, you're talking about people who are, no. who physically are going under a change in their very mental dramatic, thinking. Very dramatic, very dramatic change. very dramatic change. Yes. Young, especially young men. Um, who are already hormonally messed up yeah. <laughs> and women, right? Mm -hmm. At that age, 17, 18, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. They're already pretty, um, they're undergoing some big changes already. So, you know, yeah. if they're transitioning and they have like, and they're on multiple medications, I mean, listen, we have transgenders as friends. We know what they go through, the medication yeah. that they're on, their lifespan. It's very traumatic. Because of the, tra yeah. because of the, tra uh, of the um, medications that they're on, there's big implications about their health, uh, how healthy these medications are. Um, you know, they, they advance a lot of different kinds of disease, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so, I don't know. It, it's a, it, I don't, I think it is something that we should be allowed to talk about instead of being shut down. Yes. So we are fully educated before we make a um, before we make a decision like that. And I can understand why the president and the military is concerned. Right. Just cost it. Just the cost of it mm -hmm. is astronomical. Yes. Now, right. let's go. If you don't mind, can I just blast through? Because here's what we're going to be talking yeah. about at three o'clock. OK. Yeah. And then we're going to wrap it up here. Okay. Uh, major news coming out of uh, the U.K out in front of the Ecuadorian embassy. Cassandra Fairbanks has been covering it, okay? She's been noticing a tremendous amount of surveillance. Uh, not only that, not only has she been noticing uh, surveillance, she's also uh, actually published a couple of reports here. Hold on a second. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. I just had it. Exclusive leaked Assange court transcript shedding light on U.S.-backed Ecuador Ecuadorian expulsion plans how many of you knew that he was in court and there's a transcript in court where he was pleading with the country of ecuador saying there is a very serious assassination threat upon me you kick me out the front door i could be murdered okay mm -hmm. how many of you know that no i didn't know that no. until i read cassandra fairbanks from gateway pundits exclu very exclusive report uh, revealing the transcript of his court testimony. Byron, Will Holt, $20.20. Make sure you guys, uh, we're going to be kicking it up um, uh, uh, on the um, uh, the U.S. Constitution's autographed. I'm going to be getting uh, caught up uh, with those now that we've got uh, less pressure uh, on some of the other things we've been doing this week. Send us your email uh, address or via email to deb at petesantilli.tv. And I will get you a signed constitution out. We'll make sure that we get caught up if you haven't received yours as of yet. Thank you. All right. So we got um, that exclusive report to go over. As we already know, Devin Nunez, this is the main, um, if you're just, just catching us right now, because people come and go and rotate in and out, but he's going to make a criminal referral, eight of them, which could result in dozens of people being indicted. Eight criminal referrals mm -hmm. does not mean eight people. That's eight crimes being committed right. with potentially dozens of people mm -hmm. uh, being recommended for prosecution, for conspiracy, yeah. and leaking so classified information. So basically, they're doing to them what they did to Trump. Anybody, I mean, Yeah, right? well, be, because that, that's where the real conspiracy is, the conspiracy yeah. to overthrow uh, us. Yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, Homeland uh, Security, ho ho Homeland um, uh, Security Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen, I called it. I said she was going to get fired. Did I not? You did? I did say that. You've been saying that for a few months now. She got fired, okay, because yeah. she's an absolute uh, uh, buffoon. She screwed it up. Kirsten Nielsen resigning as Homeland Security Chief will provide just a little bit more commentary on that. But Trump's interim DHS chief, uh, chief pick uh, puts a focus on the border. He's, uh, uh, he's the choice for... Um, uh, for the uh, uh, acting Homeland Security person. His name is Kevin uh, McAleenan. 
And uh, he is actually from, from the, uh, the Customs and Border Patrol. All right. Michael Flynn's alleged honeypot slams Russiagate spy, Stefan Halper and journos who covered for him. There's information coming out of, on that. Uh, there's a whistleblower that's come forward, Svetlana Lakhova, mm. okay, is coming forward with information on that. All right. Uh, Representative Jordan, listen to what he says here. Let me go back over to, let me go down here. Stand by. Stephen and then we're going to finish up. dropped the $5 super chat and said, don't ask, don't tell. Now, please don't show. And Mike Gitzo says, as a contractor, I saw a lot of straight people who couldn't make it in a war zone. So why should someone that is mentally unstable be allowed to work there? Mm -hmm. Great point. Great point, Mike Gitzo. Thanks. And thank you, Stephen Hedin. The president should make his tax returns public. No, it's up to him. If he wants to, fine. If he doesn't want to, fine. He's, uh, th th there's no... There's no law that says they have to be public. Um, so what scares me is the, the fact that you have leaders in the United States Congress for political reasons trying to force the IRS to um, make public an individual. And I'm going to quadruple down and say it ain't going to happen, you crazy crats. Okay, you crazy crats that are crazed that are following the Democratic line. Uh, and here's what uh, uh, Jim Jordan is saying, and I absolutely agree with him. The Democratic talk, abolish ICE, borderless hemisphere, walls are immoral, illegals should vote, and let's raise taxes. And POTUS's action, regulations reduced, taxes cut, economic, the economy's growing, Five million new jobs, Justice Gorsuch and Kavanaugh, out of the Iran deal, embassy in Jerusalem, hostages homes, uh, home from, the, uh, from North Korea, and the new uh, NAFTA. That is what Jim Jordan is, is highlighting and saying you're not getting the taxes. Come on, it's time to kick it in, you guys, with patience and resolve, right? Sun Tzu's art of war. That's mm. why... Uh, uh, as a Marine, I'm not in charge of uh, any diplomacy uh, in Washington, D.C. We're analysts. We're critics, right? We have That's a right. right to get together and talk about this stuff. Mm -hmm. And you guys, we have a right to come together. If you believe that this is what the people want, let's say, for instance, if, if we want to be a place that convenes, a patio, all right, a filled with people that... Maybe we're not putting out news. We're taking news from CBS. We're taking news from Alex Jones and Mark Dice. And we're mm -hmm. having a conversation about it. We bash CBS. We bash MSNBC. We bash CNN, right? And we promote and we want to go get our news from Mark Dice, right? Because he's got a, you know, a, a humorous twist with it. Or let's say we want to conspiratorialize with Alex Jones, if that's what we want. We have a right to freely assemble among us. I say one level. I say one level down. Okay, Alex Jones is the bar. Okay, we're the patio out back in the beer garden, right? We have a right to get together at Alex Jones and Mark Dice's bar, right? They're running a place. They got it going. They got a roof over their head. They're providing us with a patio of places everyone come up with your motorcycles and your freaking rat rods and let's get together and have a conversation we have a right to do that is that what you want to support or do you want to take your money and continue to support the mainstream media and the mainstream internet that is putting out their trending narratives with 468 views or do you want mark dice's 52,000 i mean I, I say we win. We the people win. Do you want to support the 63 million people that voted for President Trump, even though he says oranges, even though he may have stuff in his tax returns that uh, are not necessarily favorable to uh, Jerry Nadler? OK, because he wants to use that, of course, for political reasons. Pick through. Huh. Or do we want to be protective of the 63 million people still to say you're not going you're going to stop this coup d'etat? What do you want to support? 
if you want to support this type of a show, if this is what, do you want me to wear a suit and tie? Maybe you can, you can make that commentary. Do I need to be more professional and credible? Or have we delivered some of the most valuable information of the past several years on Facebook? Okay. They don't want you to hear this. That's why they have to shadow ban. That's why Mark Zuckerberg has to come up with all kinds of technical excuses for why our page, our 250,000 people got cut off from us. Mm. It's a freaking lie. He's a fake, a fraud, a chai -com. What about over at Twitter? The freaking devil-worshipping, pedo, code-talking Jack from Twitter taking people's money for his Twitter shares and defrauding the public, pretending like you have free speech. And you don't. You only have free speech if you speak like a Marxist. That's your only freedom. And you actually get promoted if you speak Marxism and the Marxist line. Anything oppositional to that, you get deleted like Laura Loomer, like Alex Jones, right? Like Gavin McInnes. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. What do you folks want to support? Do you want to support us? That's what our super chats are about. That's what our PayPal is about. That's what our text to give is about. Is That is you casting your vote. This is what we want. Does anybody say they want me to wear a suit and tie? No. No. Do you guys wear a suit? If I wear a suit and tie, I want everybody else to put a suit and tie on. Okay? While we're doing the show. What do you think? Is that going to add more credibility to the show if we all got dressed up in suit and ties and, and wore really smart-looking glasses like, like freaking Anderson Pooper? Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Puts on his smart CIA glasses. Let's just mind control the public. Let's push our agenda and then lie to them and then pr provide, of course, the appropriate disclaimers uh, for the diabetes medication commercials. That's the only truthful information you're going to get, by the way, on CNN are the very rapid uh, read of the, uh, of the inserts and the disclaimers. What do you guys want? N nobody's even casting their vote right now. I guess you guys don't want it. You want me to just sign off and just go off the air? Or do you guys want to support us? And I say, use Super Chat as that opportunity to say, no, this is what we, if it's a $1 Super Chat, and you say, screw the deep state, we want freaking steak and potatoes, we want Pete Santilli. You guys have already cast your votes through your support. We wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your support. So you guys have already done that and I appreciate it, okay? But what do we want, folks? Do we want reality? Do we want the ability to freely convene? Do we want to tell Mark Sucker Pluck to kiss off and leave us alone? Just leave us alone. Be an internet service provider, right? Mm. Stop being a socialist media company. Twitter, socialist media. It's not social media. Socialist media. That's all they are. Tell these freaking people off. Don't be afraid to be deleted. Okay? I got deleted from Facebook. My life has been better ever since. I don't go to Facebook. I'm not a meme tart anymore. I actually spend much more productive time. Right? Mm. I have plenty of memes elsewhere. <laughs> right? More time on Twitter. Yeah, Facebook is not the, uh, they don't have exclusive rights to memes, okay? You want to see one? We'll end on this note. Is that okay? I want to share a meme with everybody. Want to see a meme? Watch this meme. You're going to love this one. You guys know who Carpe Donctum is? Speaking of memes. Do you know who Carpe Donctum is? They keep coming back and back yeah. and back. This is a you don't know who Carpe Donctum is. A semi anonymous uh, man from Kansas City, from Kansas. He posted it, and then the Trump world posted it, and then the president himself posted it on Twitter. It's Biden fondling himself. Now, on one level, it's just a funny meme. On another level, this is how politics is waged this day. These are the meme wars in action. Do you think Democrats understand what they're up against? Because there was a Mother Jones headline the other day saying the right wing uh, media machine is much more effective at this kind of visual communication, and the Democrats aren't even trying.
I can't breathe in this thing. Speed. Ludicrous speed. Go! So, so CNN calls this dangerous, this. The, the, but he, they, he, they it. call it dangerous and we're losing and we're, you know what? This is what we're doing. We're going to kick your butt, Stelter. Nobody watches you. You know what they watch? Mm -hmm. This is what they watch right here. They want Mark Dice. They want Alex Jones. You can't stop this from taking place. You suck and we don't. CNN sucks. <laughs> The American people don't. This is what the American people want. Look, I'll refresh the page. MSNBC thing had 52,000. Let's see what it's got now. Oh, I'm sorry, 86,000. Mm -hmm. It went, went from, from 52,000 when I brought it up the first time, uh -huh. okay, to 86,000. This is what the people want. Mr. Stelter, Mr. Frickin' Pooper, Mr. Jake Crapper, Miss Frickin', uh, what, what the hell's her name? Uh, uh, Rachel Mad Cow Disease. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. That's what the people want. What the people want. Hey, listen, I'm going to have a role in this thing. I am. I'm not Mark Dice. I'm not. I love Mark Dice. I'm a consumer of Mark Dice's news. Mm -hmm. I'm a share of Mark Dice's stuff. Right? Right. I'm not a comedian. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I crack myself Sometimes up. Sometimes you're pretty funny. Sometimes I crack myself up. Mm -hmm. But I, I do it mainly to crack myself up. It's a, uh, Hopefully it cracks you guys up sometimes too. I, I'm not Alex Jones, right? Mm -hmm. I'm actually someone who studied Alex Jones for 20 freaking years. And I know that what's happening to him right now, you're not going to be able to get away with it. That he's going to take your case all the way to the Supreme Court and he's going to fight right now like he's fighting legally to say that in the United States of America, it's okay to go in front of a camera and ask questions and have a whole bunch of people do that. And that right. doesn't translate into, oh my God, it's so dangerous because people watched you and then they attacked Sandy Hook people. No, that's not how we shut down the truth. That's not how we do it. You don't destroy it. I have a role in this thing. Right. I do. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to fill it, and I'm going to do it each and every day, and it's only going to be with your support. You guys, why am I showing Mark Dice here? You know why I'm showing Mark Dice? Why? Because it's we the people that are driving Mark Dice. That's right. It's we the people that are driving freaking Alex Jones. It's we the people that are driving this show. It's mm -hmm. we the people that are going to crush scumbag freaking propagandists. Stelter thinks it's dangerous. Dude, we don't want to kill you. Well, we want to keep you around and torture you. We talk about this all the time. Um, let the market decide. That's what capitalism is. He Communism thinks that people is, want to go kill him and harm him. We want to keep you around and watch you suck your way right into nothingness. Right? Right. Well, the 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 uh, consumer-driven uh, YouTube is dictating Mark Dice. They want Mark Dice. They want Alex Jones. They want shows like Pete Santilli. That's what they want. We the people. They're getting hundreds of thousands into right. millions and millions right. of views. And and then you go to the Absolutely. mainstream media and you look at it and you're just like, wow. It Listen, doesn't even compare. You can to take what's our happening. channel that had a hundred thousand subscribers. We had fifty million views. You can delete it. That's not gonna shut me up, nor mm -hmm. is it gonna stop people from going places where they can find, right? Because what drove our show? What mm -hmm. drove our YouTube channel? It was we, the people, that said, I want to watch Pete Santilli out there in the freaking right. field, not mm -hmm. CNN. Right. What drove that? It's we, the people, driving it. You yeah. can delete my channel. That doesn't make the 63 million deplorables go away. Mm -hmm. We will come back and we will literally, Skelter will eat you like a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. The only way that they can keep... Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I hear you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the only way that they can... The only way that they can, can keep a country, uh, a region, communist, uh, and is by force. And that's exactly what you're seeing in this world of youtube and on social medias like mm -hmm. facebook they, they it's a communist it's a communist place to be mm -hmm. it really is but sooner or later people want to be free and they want to exp express their freedom yes and then the only way to keep that from happening and to keep capitalism from seeping from taking over because it's the right and just way to be right 
is to force you yeah. into communism. And that's, that's right. exactly what's going to happen here. YouTube yeah. has done everything in the past. Now, they've been good to us now. OK, we have a right to freely assemble. All right. And guess what? We don't need your freaking communist advertising. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I have my own advertisers. We support our advertisers. We the people come together and we support the show. We the people, however many there are, we share information. We have a right to freely assemble, right? It's we the people coming together. We the people seeking freedom. We will get freedom. Mm -hmm. Stelter, your whole fake scenario, your fake false flagging, okay? Where you use, oh, look at there's a guy with a fake bomb in Florida. And right. he's got a Trump sticker. That's fake CIA crap. That's what you use to try to get legislation passed to protect all those dudes. Dude, we want to keep you around and torture you. I want to torture you with Mark Dice, Dice videos. I want to keep you alive, running around free. I want you going going home and look at Mark Dice. He's got 86,000 views and you have 10. Right. I want to watch you die slowly as far as your career is concerned. Watching Mark Dice get all the views and Alex Jones getting all the recognition and... Pete Santilli freaking not having his uh, 30th fucking, excuse me, 30th freaking channel. Did I, I, I went to say freaking, but I again. accidentally, huh? Did it again. His 30th channel. You can't make me go away. Right. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I want you to have a slow career death to where you're out of business. You can't bash Trump anymore. Right. Tune in this afternoon. Uh, we're going to do the first ever. Okay. And it's our way of being able to deal with because listening to these crazy crats it's going to be the first ever crazy crat update that we're going to do uh today we're going to cover important news and we're going to show you just how crazy these freaking crazy crats are it's going to be a regular update we have to put them on blast show you who they are make sure you tune in at three o'clock deb jordan good show yeah, Bye, everybody. Show, Support us. Super Great chat. Show, Support us on text to give. Support us however you can on our PayPal. Right. Let's show these freaking deep staters that we the people run this freaking joint. Just because you run Silicon Valley doesn't mean you run the United States of America. On December 18, 2011, I launched the Pete Santilli Show with one listener, me. That one listener has now grown into millions reached with some of the most explosive live coverage to ever break on the internet. With your help over the years, we have accomplished what the mainstream media can't. To bring you real-time coverage of the American struggle and to hold its ground against a deep state that is hell-bent on installing Marxism in this country. Before and after the election of President Donald J. Trump, we saw an uprise in violence against conservatives that threatens our right to vote for a candidate of our choice, our right to assemble, and now they're attempting to stop us from speaking. The biggest threat to liberty today is a deep state that only allows one side to speak and assemble, and like never before, the mainstream media has become complicit. Bringing you the voices of those who would not otherwise be heard has been my mission from the start. Because I'm a threat to their agenda, they want to shut me down. There can only be one way to win this fight, and that is to stay in the fight. The only way I can stay in this fight is through your support. Please support our show. Go to paypal.me forward slash Pete Santilli. Thank you for your generosity, and God bless the United States of America. Stop paying for overpriced insurance. How many of you are tired of paying simply too much for auto, health, or life insurance? Cut your insurance rates substantially and save big with PatriotRates.com, an American insurance company you can trust owned by veterans. PatriotRates.com sources competitive pricing on auto, health, and life insurance and will always have your back when it comes to finding the best quote to fit your needs. I myself got auto insurance cheaper by using their service so you have nothing to lose. Visit www.PatriotRates.com for a free quote on auto, health, and life insurance and stop paying for overpriced insurance. Visit www.PatriotRates.com today for a free quote. Now, as you know, Robert Mueller has been investigating Donald Trump for over two years now and has concluded that there's no case to answer on his colluding with Russia during his election campaign. Given that news, you would expect the markets to have stored. Instead, they've reacted by tanking. Neither Trump nor his Democratic opponents are going to let go of this. And there's nothing the markets hate more than political uncertainty. 
Combine this with Brexit and the trade war with China and you have the perfect storm brewing. With the stock markets being near all-time highs and crazy volatility going on, now is not a good time to be fully committed to stocks. Gold has rallied along with silver this year and it might be time to think about putting some of your money into precious metals as a hedge against what the stock market might do. It may be fine, but why take the chance? Get on to our friends at Noble Gold today and they'll run through it with you and see if it's a good idea. It's not for everyone, but click the link below to get your free gold IRA guide or just call 877-646-5347 and make sure to mention The Pete Santilli Show to get the free gold investment guide. That's 877-646-5347. 877-646-5347. Give them a call right now. Let me ask you something. What are you doing when you install computer antivirus software or you put a smoke detector in your home or you sign a marriage prenuptial agreement? You're preparing. You're preparing for the worst, actually. You're preparing to be attacked and hacked or for a fire in your home or for a marriage breaking up. Whatever it is, you're preparing for the worst. That all actually makes sense. Same goes for building a food storage plant. You're preparing for when natural disasters strike and shelves go empty at the grocery store or you can't get there because you're cut off from everything. Like what's happening in some places in the Midwest where flooding has made islands out of farms and subdivisions. The best way to prepare is with My Patriot Supply. I trust and use them and you should too. A two week food storage kit gets you started. They're available now for a special price of only $75 when you go to my special website, preparewithpete.com. These kits from My Patriot Supply, including breakfast, lunch, and dinners, that last up to 25 years in storage. Order now so you're prepared. Preparewithpete.com. That's preparewithpete.com. Dr. Goglia's 30 plus years of work with celebrities, elite athletes, and patients around the world have given him the title of the most accomplished nutritionist in the world. Check out the hype that Chris Pratt, Cody Horn, the Los Angeles Clippers, Marvel Comics, and Khloe Kardashian are all raving about. It's called the G-Plan, and it's a fully customized weight loss plan specifically designed for you. First, you start with a free health quiz to assess where you are in your progress. It doesn't matter if you're new and just getting started or you're currently on another diet plan. This plan will be for you. So visit www.thecelebdoctor.com. That's www.thecelebdr.com. Take your free health quiz today to see where you rank. Good luck and enjoy. Now, as you know, Robert Mueller has been investigating Donald Trump for over...